Got multiple Excel files to combine into one table? Stop copy pasting and let Power Query do the hard work for you. It's fast, easy and refreshes with one click. Let me show you how. To combine the data from these files, you will need to create a new one. A new Excel workbook in any location except our source files folder. I always recommend to keep your source files in one folder, with subfolders if needed. Now go to the Data tab, click Get Data, then From File, From Folder. In the Folder dialog box, select your folder and click OK. Excel now shows all the files in that folder. If the files were perfect and ready to go, we could click Combine and Load. But let's be realistic, data usually needs cleaning. Combine and Transform. It combines the files, but keeps you in the Power Query Editor for further cleaning and adjustments before loading. Always use this option if you are unsure about the structure of your source files. In the next window, you will see the list of all tables, sheets and named ranges in your first file. Each type has a distinct icon to the left. By the way, Parameters folder on the top is also clickable. Selecting it enables you to grab all the data from the workbook. When you click on each one, you will see the preview to the right. At the top of the window, you can select not only the first file by default, but any other. You also have an option to skip all the files with errors, but I don't recommend you to use it. I will select the focused table. Click OK, wait a bit and your data is combined. Now take a closer look to the left section of our new Power Query Editor window. Here you can see a folder called Transform File from Files with some helper queries. Transform Sample File Query is the most important here. This is where you can apply transformations, clean up your data and do everything you need. All the steps of this query will be applied to each file in the folder. And the query at the bottom, called Files, like our folder, is very important too. It is the place where all our files are combined. You may also notice that a lot of steps are already applied here. The first one is source. It gets all the files from a specified folder path. Don't forget, if the folder path changes, you'll need to update this line or use a relative folder path technique. The next step, filtered hidden files, We'll remove all hidden files from the list by checking the hidden attribute. Hidden system files can break your query if not filtered out. Invoke custom function. This step applies a custom transformation function, transform file, to each file's content. Essentially, Power Query opens each Excel file, extracts the desired sheet or table and returns the result. The transform file function is automatically created when you click combine files. The next step just renames the name column to source name. This helps distinguish the file name from other columns in the final output. A remove other columns step keeps only two columns, source name, the name of each Excel file, and transform file, the extracted data from each file also. Expand table column. It expands the transform file column to reveal the actual data from each Excel file. It uses a sample file as a template to determine which columns to expand. Without this step, you'll only see nested tables instead of their content. Click Close and Load to load the data into a simple Excel table. Or choose Close and Load to to get all the options. Here, for example, you can add it to the data model or create a pivot table out of our data.
And that's it. You've combined multiple Excel files into one table without copy-pasting a single cell. Drop new files into the folder, click refresh and you are done. In the real world, you rarely get the luxury of working with perfectly cleaned data. There are often inconsistencies, extra columns or formatting issues that need attention before combining files. We won't dive into the data cleaning process in this video, but if you are interested, check out my other tutorials on data cleaning and advanced Power Query techniques. They'll help you handle messy datasets like a pro and make your queries much more resilient. See you next time.